And hello again, Internet. Let's try this again today. I had to adjust some settings on this, try to get it to work properly. We are looking at Final Doom today. Yeah, I know I said I would never play Doom, and this isn't Doom or Ultimate Doom or Doom 2. Final Doom is one of the more lesser-known branches, not the lesser-known. That would probably be Doom 95. Haha. -ha. Or one of the console versions, because it was on dang near everything. But no, we are looking at the expansion pack. In fact, we're looking at part one here, and I got this through id Anthology. And my version of the id Anthology is actually the second release, which is a bit more rare. So, it has the fixed versions. Now, I'm using the um, expansion packs today to discuss some things that have been going on in the gaming industry of late... Uh, including the very first thing I'm going to talk about. Oh my lord, look at this! We have difficulty selection! Oh, what a surprise! So all these people who are running around in the wake of Cuphead going, Oh, video games used to be a lot harder! Rah, rah. Well, they, they kind of did, but we had ways around that as well. In fact, this game even has another method, which stuff like Contra had. Cheat codes. They do make the game significantly easier. Now, I'm not saying that not having these things is a bad thing or necessarily wrong. In fact, I kind of like games that don't have the cheat codes or, diff or you know, like stuff like Dark Souls. The games don't have to be easier. Just that people who are saying, oh, yeah, games used to be so much harder. Yeah, no, no, no. All right. And there's a couple of other things I'm going to be discussing while I play this. As I mentioned... Yep, there we are. Yeah, no, I am not playing it on Nightmare. The hell with that. Also, as you see, we have the chat up today. Because, why not? This game... Oops, I hit my microphone. Sorry about that. This game, we're not really going to be interrupting much on screen by having chat. And, for the record, I am running this with the GZ Doom source port. Uh, GZ Doom is the successor to Z Doom, which stopped development a bit ago. All right, this button. There we go. Oh God, why are you going this slowly? You're going this slowly, so I can't just rush up here and kill things. That's why. Oh hey, look. Oh stairs too. And of course we have a blue key, which I don't have the, the key for. So yeah, we're running the G Z Doom source port. And I did turn off jumping, because it has that, but I want to keep this somewhat normal. Now, there's also something I want to do right away to show you guys something. Um, in the options, in these source ports, there's always this fun thing. Where is it? Textures. Textures. Display. Where the, oh, texture settings are up above it, aren't they? There we are. Texture options. See this filter mode? This is what it's usually set to. Look at how freaking awful everything looks now. Look at how blurry these are. These look like a mess. I know some people prefer this because they think that the blurry looks better somehow. No. I want the sharp edges. I want it to look like it's supposed to look. So that's the one thing I turn off right away. Make sure that's always turned off. Because yeah, even though these things, you know, it looks... Some people are like, oh, but it's so blocky. That's how it's supposed to look. So, yeah, I just, I turn the blur off because the blur looks god-awful to me. So, whole lot to talk about. I shouldn't rush through talking about everything, but I'm going to say some things, lots of various things. As I had mentioned, whoopsie, um, game has difficulty levels. Yay, what a surprise. Get pistol ammo back. So yeah, difficulty levels, they're a thing. They've always been a thing. It's not like... It's not like it came out of nowhere. So... Yeah. And as I also mentioned, there are cheat codes for this. So it's, I could just do IG... No, ID, DQD, and be completely invincible. But why would I do that? Yeah, exactly, Shark. Exactly. You're playing a blocky game. Well, it's an old game. It's supposed to look this way. 
this is what the graphics were. Alright, so there is something I am missing on this first level. For the record, no, I have never beaten Final Doom. Hey! Thank you, Xanth, for hosting for all of one person, but hey, it's better than nothing. Hmm. I saw enemies over there. What am I supposed to do? Alright, first thing I'm going to do is look and see if there's any switches that I haven't... that are reset. Yep, there we go. Hey! Thank you also, Shark, for hosting. Okay, well, even if something did open, it would have shut down again by now. Oh, it's so hard to tell. Aha! Aha! I think I see it now. No? Where is it? Where is it? I mean, look, it's got a cliff around it, but I guess that's just for looks. Or possibly, no, there would be more enemies up there, because, well, that's where I just was. Mm. So, yes, yeah, I was saying, I have not beaten this. So, I haven't even gotten past the first level, clearly! I mean, I have at some point, just no idea when. Can't get out there. I could if I jumped, but I turned the jump off. Yes, we'll beat it together. That sounds kind of horrible, honestly. This switch does something! It's a timer. So it does something somewhere. I just don't know where. Because this is going to be one of these puzzles where a switch... You know what? Map doesn't help me right now. I need a blue key to open this door. Yeah, this is great. This is the first level. Ow! Where did you come from? How did you get up there? Did you glitch up here? Or is there something I am missing? It's entirely possible that it just glitched up here. Because this is a source port, so it's not 100% accurate. There are differences between this and the regular version of the game. As I said, I'm using GZ Doom. Man, I can't believe that I'm failing on the first level. There are people out there going, Oh, you idiot, just do this. Just do this. In fact, I would assume most people are going, Just do this. It's easy. There's a trigger somewhere that opens something somewhere. Oh, okay, so this is... That's only open for a short time. What happens if you're outside when it closes? Or do I just hit it again and it closes? Is that what's going on? No. So why was it closed again? What closed it? I am very confused. Because that door got closed again, and I don't know how. 
Oh, there. Hey, there we go. Something open somewhere. What? Where? There. Oh, that's not fun. Those are not fun at all. There we go. Ouch. Those are pretty much the worst enemies in this version of the game. All right, well, there we go. That was the key. You have to actually try to open the door to open this, which declares itself a secret area, but it's not a secret area because it's required. I don't like required secret areas, so this thing's already starting to fail. And this is one of the things about expansion packs. Okay, yeah, thank you. Yes, great, great, awesome. So like expansion packs, especially for games like this, sometimes the expansions really are not much better than mods you can download or level packs you can download to the point where, there we go, to the point where sometimes the expansion packs come from the mod makers. In fact, this one in particular, that took a while, but I did it. Woo! This one in particular... TNT is called TNT because it comes from I forget if it's Team TNT or TNT Team. But either way, they were a group that did a bunch of, you know, user mods, user levels. And they got together, well, I think id software got together with them to help make a legitimate expansion pack and it's part one of two final um, doom actually has two expansions and they don't actually change any of the um, code there's no new stuff in here there is at one point in one of these I don't know which one ow but at one point in one of these, there is actually a glitch that is exploited. And this is a glitch in the core engine. So it's not something new, it's just... Something that people found out about. And it looked cool, so they used it in this. But effectively, this expansion pack is little more than what you could download from for free in a lot of other places. It's just a 32 level full full replacement map pack with some new graphics and music. Well, hell, I've made these. Man, mine were not this good. Hell no. I am proud of some of my levels though. Some of my levels were very good. Hell, I'm actually really proud of my first one. Yeah, I know I'm nearly dead. It's because health is kind of hard to come by right now. And this game is doing that. Having them show up behind you. Now, you'll also note that the specters here are just transparent. The Green Marine is about to die. Thank you. Thank you for that. I love it. Um, it's, it's in here somewhere. Like, this is not what they're supposed to look like. That's Shadow. I actually like that one. I might use it instead. Oh, no! It doesn't have the proper fuzz effect in this game. Oh. Oh, that's a shame. This engine actually took away the proper effect. Because it's supposed to be fuzz. What it was in the original game is 
it would just have these like wait most of me invisible but a little bit of wavy lines through it but I guess we'll just use shadow because it looks better than the transparency for the specters I'm actually sad yeah this this engine is not impressing me right now okay that's block I can't shoot through it this is also another thing um, even though it looks like there's holes in this that's a solid texture I cannot shoot through it All right, so I think it was a red key I got. Boy, I could use some health. I like that my crosshair, which is not default for the game, is kind of colored based on how much health I have, so... All right. Okay, that I want dead. Thing with the chain gunners is notice that most of these enemies you can avoid. E oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Most of these enemies you can avoid fairly easily. The chain gunners are hit scanners. So even though like the imps and the fireballs, you can avoid those. Which is good classic Doom. Had the Doom 1. But even though Doom 1 did have some hit scanning enemies... The machine gun hit scanner was reserved for one of the bosses. Oh yeah, Doom Shotgun's great. Why do you think the shotgun is my workhorse? Now the problem is, I'm going to die before I get over here because of this guy. Oh good, I got him! Excellent. Because I have 8 health left. I am so SOL. Alright, I'm going to get the hell... Ah, I can't get up there yet. Oh, God, I got... Oh, Jesus Christ, you kidding me? And we got lost souls. Oh, that's bad. Oh, worse than lost souls, we got a freaking pain elemental! I have eight life, I'm not surviving this! Nope, dead. Oh, man! So, yeah, this effectively is just... <sighs> it, it's no different than a user level pack. And this was a paid expansion. As I said, it did come on disc. You could purchase it separately. It is available on GOG, or... Well, probably on GOG. I know it's on Steam. So you can still buy this today in this condition. God, I hate these things. Those those chain gunners are some of the worst enemies in Doom 2. Because, again, they're hit scanners. They do a lot of damage. You can't really avoid them. Oopsie, oopsie. Oh, hi there. Well, I know where a shotgun is now. I mean, a chainsaw. Whee! Man, so much pain in this. That so looks like it should be a secret door right here, and it probably is. All right. That one's down. For the most part, you can just keep moving and you'll do a fairly good job avoiding most damage. Because even the shotgun guys back there that are hit scanners, their aim's not particularly good. And the shotgun spreads. You'll note even when I shoot it, it has a spread to it. Now, the spread in the initial Doom is just a flat line. And that's because this game really didn't rely much on 
the up-down element. It's a 2.5D game. In fact, you couldn't aim up and down like this in the original Doom. So the fact that there would be any type of vertical vertical spread to the shotgun was completely unnecessary. As it would auto-aim in that area for you anyway. Alright. Do I have the red key? I do have the red key. Let's get the health back here. There. Maybe I can survive a little better now. Yes, I'm, tr I'm trying to not save scum by saving during the levels. We'll see how long that lasts. Probably not very. Yeah, you heard all those guys activate. I knew they were there. I just didn't know what op- Ah! Ow! Oh, you bastard. You blew up the barrel next to me. And you will note that even the uh, hit-scanning enemies back there... Crap. Oh, uh, yeah, there, that's what does it. Okay. Nice! That is a nice trap. Damn, died. Okay, so, coming down, opened the imps. Shooting the wall behind the imps is what opens up the demons. The pinkies. So that's actually, I kind of like that trap. Mind you, I still am not a fan of having traps like that in these games. It's kind of BS. To have things open up behind you all the time, and oh god, I think this engine, I think this, this particular map pap's going to do it all the bloody time. That is something that a lot of the amateur maps had. Whereas the main maps had it, they did it as well, but not as frequently. Alright, I'm going to go back get the health. Getting better, getting better. So, expansion packs, DLC, you know, people complain today about the amount of DLC. You know, I thought this was triggered from going across this. Guess not. Yeah, people complain about DLC in games today as if it's something that never happened before. And it's not. We've had these forever. These kind of expansion packs. Now, mind you, it's slightly different in that, for the most part, expansion packs weren't the rest of the game. Uh, I did trigger what? God, this game feels so good. Yeah, the Spectre Trap. I thought it triggered from going over the, the cliff. It doesn't. It triggers from approaching the cliff. So. It's just, I thought the trigger was in a different place is all. Man, this, this game is just... This engine feels so good to play. And that's why so many games with this engine are just so fun. Okay, now I'm going to come down here. Now, the Spectres are not open yet. Or the, that's not open yet. The reason for it is I have to shoot that wall back there to open it. If I shoot that wall, then this will open up behind me. So I actually want to avoid shooting it right now if I can. Kind of draw them off to these edges and shoot them up there. See? Perfect. Now, I'm still going to shoot it to deal with them, but... Just in better position. I'm learning the maps, learning how to play. 
Oh, crap. Okay. No, it opened on its own now. There was definitely a second trigger. Okay, you I need to kill early. Get out of that corner. Get out of the corner. Alright, time to switch guns. I need something with faster rate of fire. Alright, that one's taken care of. So no more lost souls getting spawned in. Good boy. want the projectile users dead. This is one of the things about this game. It is very definite priorities. You have to know who to shoot when. One bullet left. Alright! Woo! That was tough. Plenty of shotgun shells left. No bullets. Now! You also know something else is missing. Alright! Oh, it opened that. I have to go around to it. Yes, yes it did. Wanted to see if anything back here opened up, and apparently it did. Alright. So far, so good. It's actually really good map design overall. So yeah, to get onto that, you have to jump across there. Can I get the yellow key yet? I can. Gives me a map. And the blue key gets. There's all three keys. Anything else open up while I was in there? I have a feeling. So that's the yellow key. Did this open up yet? No, it did not. Kind of thought that did. Because if you look at the map, there's a secret door there. Oh, there's a secret... No, oh, that's already open. So you see the secret doors on the map now. Yeah, I know this isn't the default map. Um, let's see if I can actually change that. Traditional Doom. There we go. This is what the map's supposed to look like. So you see some secret areas now. The reason you see those secret areas is I picked up the one map. And I'm actually going to try to hit some of these secret areas if I can. Such as this one. That, no! Bad. Bad. Go away. Go away. Here's a secret for you. Death! Now, why, though, does that have a blue switch? That's unusual. What is up with this? Oh, that's not fun. That's not fun at all. Mega health I'll take. Oh, God! No, no, no. One out. I want out. I want out. I want out of this. Get me out of here. I do not want to be in here. Game, you are evil! Holy crap, these map makers are... Bastards. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. Ow! At least this shotgun does a ton of damage. Woohoo! Yeah, speaking of traps, good god. Well, that didn't. Well, I guess that would have helped me kill one. That was that one. I guess that's what I'm supposed to do is telefrag them all. That lowers... Ah. Okay. Yep, 
Yeah, I think I'm supposed to telefrag them all. Alright. So how the hell do I get out of here now? Oh, I just go backwards. Well then, I do have more health than I started out with. That was frightening. I don't want to do that again. Oh boy. Now as I mentioned, I have not actually beaten this one before, so this is all new stuff for me. No idea what opens that door. Oop. Stuff opened up. Stop it. Stop it. I don't know how to get up. Oh, damn it. Now this gun, as you see, scatters both directions. And is really not useful from the range, from distance. Go away! However, up close, this thing is death. It uses two shotgun rounds every time you fire it, but it effectively does the damage of more than three. Alright. I'm still finishing exploring this area. There's a lot of stuff left. Because there's a switch here. What does this switch do? Maybe that was the secret I've been looking for all this time? Yes, yes it was. This gets me into the middle. Awesome. Alright, can I actually can I make this jump here? No, I can't. Alright, so there we go. I finally found all the stuff that I've been looking for. Let's get out of here. These are good maps. I mean Oh boy, talk about tough though. The main the, the main game hid enemies back for a while. It would dish them out more slowly, which is more appropriate to be entirely honest. Whereas this game... Well, hello there, Revenant! As I said, whereas this game, since it's like, Oh, well, you've already beaten Doom. You've already seen everything. We're just going to throw it all at you right away in huge numbers. Take this if you can. Oh, wow, I missed one of the secrets. Ah, they got the new one up, huh? Zant's been watching Ruby. Yes, shame I missed a secret. Don't care. But. So, yeah, this is significantly harder than the ma base Doom. It's, oh, no, what a terrible thing. Yeah, you know what? As I was mentioning about the difficulty stuff. Hi there. Gamers like having challenges. If a game's not difficult, what's the point of playing? To a degree. To a degree. But it's that challenge to overcome that we love. Okay. Whoa! So look at that. I did so much damage to the specter, I killed the thing behind it as well. Well, have all the episodes gotten longer, or just the pilot? Although it's good to hear that show's increasing in quality. Sometimes playing in easy mode is fun. You are absolutely right. So, I, I do not begrudge people who want a game for a challenge, nor do I begrudge people who just want to play a game. I will say, like I say, um, ah, 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 yikes. If a game is challenging by default and doesn't have an easy mode, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Stuff like, well, you know, the obvious one that everyone compares it to. You'll notice that the first thing I did is turn around and hit this door. I always do that just to see if anybody ever made this a secret. Because I did. Oh, hell yes, I did. 
The first secret on my map was turning around and opening that door for some weapons. But if a game's hard, that's not a problem. If the game's easy, that's not a problem. It's all in what the developer wanted and different games for different people. I'm saying all this because of this Cuphead controversy, which is a non-controversy. It's a non-troversy. No, oh, Cuphead's too hard. Ugh. Oh yeah, especially... See, I don't particularly like cheating before I beat a game. Afterwards, though? Oh, it's fair game. I've already proven myself to it. I can do whatever the hell I want. Well, hello, everything in the world. Yeah, and that's just one of the Cuphead controversies. I'm not even going to get into the other one because it is stupid. I do want Cuphead, though, because, oh my god, it looks good. Yeah, there's, there's a couple controversies around it. The one that I'm complaining about right now is a bunch of people complaining that Cuphead is too hard. And that that's a problem with video games in general. That if it's that hard, then it's not a good video game. It's like, no, I'm sorry. A challenge is part of the game. Having something to overcome. Not every game is a walking simulator. But, just because a game is easy isn't a bad thing either. There are plenty of games I play that are effectively really easy. Like, I'm sorry... Most roleplay games, especially JRPGs, are not difficult games. Because you can just sit there and grind forever if you wanted to. And if that's your thing, great. That's how you want to watch a story? No problem. This music is messed up. I don't like it. I really don't like the music in this, not compared to the original Dooms, anyway. Alright, just running around, lots of killing things, lots and lots of killing things. I keep getting rockets and such. I've got all kinds of ammo. But what I'm not seeing is something to use it on, use it with. Plenty of things to use it on! Not much to use it with. Yeah, that's the obvious comparison everyone makes now when a game is difficult. Is, well, what about Dark Thalf? And yes, Cuphead has a simple mode. So, I really don't see the problem. As I mentioned, I've been playing Dark Souls lately, and God, I love that game. Okay, well, that's taken care of. But I want to go back to that one secret area. The other one is political, so I'm not getting into it. You know me, I want to keep politics off this channel. Alright, let's get out of there. Holy crap. Alright, let's do that again then. The other one has to do with the art style. Alright. Ah, it's taken care of. Can I find more health now that I've chewed myself apart? Oh, there's a little bit more. Okay, is there any health out here? Probably not. That was the red door. Alright, there's the red door. Let's go up and around this way. There's a little bit more.
Red door again? Yeah, we're back at the red door. So let's go double check this place for health. And out we go. Probably going to be secrets I miss. Probably going to be lots of secrets I miss. Oh, look at this. You need a yellow key to get out. Now that's interesting. You can get in with just the red door, but you can't get back out. I like that. I don't know if they... The, the core game never had that in it. Ow, damn seeking rockets. Oh, I'm trapped here now. No going back. No, no. Regular shotgun, please. Thank you. Don't need to waste the super shotgun on that. Ah, there we go. That raises a bridge. Oh, God! If I fall down there, am I dead? Oh, no. Okay, there's a teleporter, so let's do this. And there's some rockets down there, but I don't care about rockets. Yes, I do. Alright, well then. I have a yellow key I can get out. No, I don't. Where'd it go? There it is. It's buried under a body. I didn't see it. What else is in here? Health. I like that. Yay! I like guns, too. Okay, so I have a yellow key. What does that do for me? And I like this now. See, now I need a blue key to get back out. Now, oh, hey, look at this. I've already cleared this area. I've already mostly cleared this area out. Oh, of course. These things are nasty. Hey, bye bye. Oh, bye bye. Alrighty, no problems here. We are still alive. Yeah, this game, this is level three, and they're throwing everything at us. Well, the reason those articles exist, Xanth, is because there were a bunch of game reviewers saying, and mostly on Twitter and such, saying that it should be hard. Yes, I am Shadow right now. I picked up... That's what that red orb with that yellow or the blue circle in the middle is. It's the invulnerability... Or invincibility... Invis-ability. There we go. Hey! Yay! Yeah. I didn't know there was a total time down there. That's pretty cool. That's uh, probably from G, um, GZ Doom. The source port here. So this is significantly harder than the main game, and they throw a lot of enemies. They're not holding anything back except weapons. And I actually prefer the way Doom 2, the base game, held stuff back. That's just better, in my opinion. You don't want to throw everything at the enemy, at your player right away. You want, you know, you want reasons to continue playing. See more things as the game goes on. Dole them out slowly. Not as slowly as Doom 3 did, good God. But still, you don't have to have everything thrown at you at... <laughs> yeah, thank you, Xanth. At level three. Ouch. I do like the fact that the shadow ones here keep their colors. Like, they're still pink.
Man, enough with the freaking revenants! Oh crap, I'm dead. I am so dead. How did I survive that? Oh, damn it. Yeah, it, it really is a penis launcher looking thing. Whoo! Boy, that sucked. Yeah. So did that. Some thing I like about this game is you can kind of shoot through enemies. If your shots are more than enough to kill, they'll just keep going. Which is necessary for the shotgun, really, because otherwise it'd be kind of crap. Um, it did, but it was automatic. Like, you couldn't look up and down yourself, it was always straight across, but it would auto-aim your... It would automatically adjust your shots up or down based on if there was an enemy that you were aiming at above or below you, to a degree. Okay, definitely there's a glitch, because that imp should not be on, been on this side. So I'm gonna assume that's an engine that's a glitch with GZ Doom. Something I should actually probably bring up on their forums and say, hey, what the hell guys? How'd you mess this up? Oh, <sighs> I don't know if it affects all the versions of Doom or if it's only affecting Final Doom or what the deal is with that, but it's kind of annoying. Alright. I so don't want to go down there. You have no idea how much I don't want to go down there. I do have no god! What? Why does that say exit? I'm very confused. Okay, I, I guess we'll just skip most of that level somehow. I don't know how, but uh, yeah, sure. We'll, we'll consider that this level might be a bit glitched. And I, again, I don't know if that is something from the main game, or if that really only happened because of using GZ Doom. Crap. Ah, oh, what is up with this place? I don't think I saved at the beginning of this level either. Oh well. Oh no, I have a save right at the very tail end of the previous one. Plus it auto-saved, so... And that is actually one of the things in this game. Um, it's supposed to be designed that every single level, every single one, can be beaten from scratch. That if you have no weapons to start with... Alright. See, usually I would be jumping here.
well, at least playing Z Doom, G Z Doom, I would be. Why do I keep mentioning Z Doom and G Z Doom? Z Doom is a source port. Oh, I'm, I'm I'm dead. These guys are gonna hit me from over there. There's no way. Oh, hey, close the doors. Oh, that didn't close doors. But uh, Z Doom is a source port that ended a few. It ended a while ago, unfortunately. GZ Doom is the continuation of it, so. And that's what gives me the higher resolution, the ability to look up and down. You can actually jump as well. Jump and crouch. It, it runs several Doom Engine games, in fact. Because for a while, most of them were open source. Ish. This, not so much open source. The source code got released for most of them. So stuff like Doom, Doom 2, Heretic, Hexen. Those will all run in this engine. Strife will also, but not because the source was released for that one. Um, they had to reverse engineer it. And actually, supposedly, the source code was supposed to have been not necessarily lost, but they didn't know who owned it for a while. Which is why I'm actually surprised that the Veteran Edition on Steam actually is modified from the original source. So they found the rights and got it back. And I'm glad because it's awesome. Now, one thing I do want to note about those, the fact that the uh, source code was open, opened up like that, or released, um, the sound code was not, surprisingly enough. That was licensed for Doom. So they had to... Everyone who's made their own custom mods, engines for it, had to rewrite the source, the sound code. I had to rewrite the sound engine. It's a weird little note. Yeah, I know. I keep getting down to nothing. Now, see, this part right here, it wants you to just balls the wallet to that. And that's why I don't want to do that. I will, however, play with you with these. Yep, 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 it opened up. Ow! Well, that totally failed. That's why you don't want to ball to the wallet. Dead. Damn it! No, no, no. Yes. And we'll actually save this one here. Which one of these... Alright, let's go to the two regular shotgun. Don't need to waste twice the ammo right now. In fact, I really should have been using this that entire time. Now you'll note that it was coming down this that opened the shutters. See, that's one of the things, having played this, not just this game, but played the games on this engine for as long as I have, I keep an eye out for that stuff. For what the triggers are. 
It also helps that, you know, I've made some maps for this game. So seeing what kind of tricks people do... Come on, there we go. Let's go ahead and close that again. Now, last time I went this way, so let's keep going this way again. There's a lot of really nice little things that Doom does. Now you know, you, for example, you notice I fired the shotgun there and all kinds of things started hissing and waking up. There are actually lines you can make. You know, all everything here in this game is made of lines, you see. Some of those lines you can actually set a property that enemies cannot hear the sound from one side of the line to the other. They still make, the, you know, you can still hear them. They still make the noise. It doesn't stop sound from crossing. It just means the AI can't hear across the line. Which is a strange thing when you think about it. But it allows for various traps to be set. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. I remember you guys doing that. But it allows, for example, you can go into a room and it'll be basically an empty room except maybe one enemy and then you fire the gun and it'll activate a bunch of enemies elsewhere that can start teleporting in. But there has to actually be a path. You'll see this. There's a Doom level where if you actually look at the full map, you'll have... Oh, I wish I could have had a cursor here. But, like, the top corner on this map, I'm pointing at the screen again, because that's really helpful. Like, say I'm in, this, I'm in this square room here. So imagine if that red wall in the top left had a small hole in it that made a small pipeline to another room full of enemies and some teleporters. So you shoot the gun when you're inside this room. That room hears you. All those enemies wake up and start coming through the teleporters. That's actually a trap you'll see sometimes in the base game. Doom and Doom 2 have it. And the maps are... The lines are invisible on the map. They don't actually ever show up on the map unless you use a cheat code to display the full map. But... Takes five rockets to kill one. Assuming they all hit. I like the smoke effects this game has for the rocket trails. Interesting. And now also you'll note, like the various shading like this, how it's got a couple different lines of shading, that's actually mapped in. It doesn't have the dynamic lighting like that. So that's something the map makers put in themselves. Which looks really good in my opinion. Alright, so you know what kind of hell is going to open up here. Just a second. Let's go to the shotgun. Ow. One pegged me. Well, that totally didn't work again. I should have saved the game. I'm trying to avoid save scumming. I should have saved scum. Ow! Jesus Christ! Man, I had almost a hundred health going in. Now I have eight. I hate those things. All right. 
Is there any way to open these somehow, somewhere, anywhere? Aha! Okay, something else just opened up somewhere. There. I think I know how to open these other ones, too. If I do this... Yup. Perfect. Nope. Yeah. Excellent! Not, not bad. See, I'm back up. I'm back to being alive. Oh, I don't like the looks of this at all. Oh, okay, good. Of course! Oh, I'm dead. Yeah! Damn it! It's the chain gunners. I tell you, they're, they're the worst enemy in this game. Because they can do just massive damage that you really can't do much about. So... Ah, oh, oy vey. So you guys are going to see just mountains of failure here. I do think I'm doing better at this game than I am at most of the ones that I play, though. Scary thought as that is. Close that, I said. All right, man. You take off. Take care, shark. I'm gonna be playing this for a bit because I do want to actually finish this. I want to actually finish this one, finally, Final Doom. And I'm gonna try talking. If you have any subjects you want to hear about with this game, ask away. I'm not an absolute expert on it, but oh, I love Doom. Like, you've heard me reference this game many, many many times on this show and I will continue to do so because there are a lot of well-designed things in it and while this doesn't help with the map design playing this mod well it's not a mod it's an expansion pack it does help I can talk about the uh, weapon design the enemy designs and how this was the worst thing they could have done those chain gunners are awful Yeah, I know. I'm going the same way again and again. Ow. Ow! Pasted right in the damn face. Hate you chain gunners. And again, because it's they're hit scanning enemies, you can't dodge their attacks. Their accuracy is far from perfect, but it's enough to hurt you. And if there's enough of them that are actually able to hit, they will chew your health to nothing in no time. Yeah, they will chew you down. I forgot about the ones that come up behind me. Alright, let's grab some of this health boxes. There we go. Might as well grab ammo boxes while I'm here. See, it's a matter of also figuring out 
what the map maker was doing at the time. You know, how did they think? How did they want to use the triggers? Like, that stuff does not look like a switch at all, but it is, so... Alright. Oh, I am well aware of how dangerous this is, I assure you. That's why I'm not rushing out this time. There we go. You notice that nice little stun lock on them as well. Perfect. Perfect! Nope, nope. Wrong weapon. Certainly don't want that out. Ow! Oh, how'd that not kill you? So it should have been five direct hits. Oh, that one wasn't. There we go. You know what? To hell with that. I'm at 100 life. I'm not going to risk that one! Oh no, I'm not killing every enemy in this game. How awful. That was it. All right, whatever. Okay, so one of the things I talked about was expansion packs versus DLC. As I mentioned, this is an expansion pack, although um, not... Whoa, hello, everyone. Not quite the same as other expansion packs that other games have had. For example... Ah, ow, ow. For example, Baldur's Gate has an expansion pack. Uh, I've honestly forgotten what it's called. Where did you guys all come from anyway? Holy crap. Those guys must have teleported in. I told you about those traps where you hear the enemies spawn out. Why am I using this gun still? But um, a lot of those expansion packs are made by the company, kind of like the DLC. Whereas some of the expansion packs, especially for the mid-90s first-person shooters, were effectively licensed out to other groups or people. Very common with the first-person shooters. And very prominent games had very prominent expansion packs. For example, Half-Life has um, opposition forces, op for, made by none other than Gearbox. You know, the people who did Borderlands and the like. Yeah, they made expansion packs. See, I don't like traps like that. I really don't like traps like that. Like, oh yeah, here's some health. You can't get to it without taking more damage than you'll get from the health pack. But at least they gave another health pack as well. So that was it for that side. I gotta find where the blue door is now. There it is. And in the case of this particular one, as I mentioned, they had kind of grabbed from the modding community that already existed. Which, good on them. Where does this pop up? Oh, okay, it pops up there. No worries.
And, you know, today we have DLC. You have games that are effectively given out piecemeal that way. But I had mentioned in one of my things, um, shareware versus episodic gaming. It, it's one of these... People keep thinking they're coming up with some grand new idea, but it's one that's been done to death. Well, let's get rid of these barrels. I don't want them anywhere near me. What do you bet all these walls are going to freaking open now since I grabbed that? Oh, well, I guess not. This is all stuff that was kind of around the corner here. This is why I'm glad I was shooting these. Yeah, there we go. Walls that opened up. I told you the wall would open up with more enemies popping out. There, that's how I get back. Oh, God. Didn't expect to see you here. That's my dangerous game. Boom! These guys can't really lead you, so strafing was the big tactic. They fire where you are, not where you're going. That's why later games improved the AI to estimate where you were traveling. So you couldn't do things like that easily. But yeah, shareware was always a thing. Well, not always a thing, but... The whole idea of you get part of the game now, or for free, and then pay for the rest of it. At least back then it was, you pay for the rest of it. Or in some cases, yeah, that's got to be a new thing. The timer down there has probably been added specifically for this engine, which is a cool thing. I like that. I'm going to be able to see just how long I've had to take to beat the game. This is by no means a speed run. Oh, Lord, no. Because I'm trying to slowly go through everything to be more safe than sorry. And one of the reasons I bring up expansion packs and DLC as a modern thing that's been in the news, mostly are loot boxes and microtransactions in full games. That's not something I have a reference for in older games. I really don't. I can't go, oh yeah, there was this game way back where you could spend a dollar to do... No, the, the closest I have are arcade games. And even that's not even close to the same thing. I mean, there were. Don't get me... Actually, you know what? I do. I do. I can tell you right now, one game, an arcade game, that had microtransactions in it. Where you could literally pay to get an advantage. And that's Ivan Iron Man Stewart's Super Off-Road. I'm sure there were a couple others like that as well. Literally, once you put the quarter in to play the game, you could put more quarters in to, to put more money in your character's account to buy the upgrades and such. So, even then, and no one really complained about that one back in the day. Mostly because you weren't spending full price on the game and then on top of it having to plug quarters in all the time, unless you bought your own. Yeah, you see, you forgot about that one too. I had to think for a second. I went, well, wait, 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 there is one. There is one. So, yet again, these things have been around forever, these ideas. People are always going to find more ways to get more money in. Um, games like Gauntlet. I think you could, yeah, I'm pretty sure in the old gauntlet, you could actually spend more money to get health, because your health kept ticking down. So there's another one where it was kind of microtransaction-y, although that one was less, makes you more powerful, and more helps you continue playing. So it's not quite the same thing. Because that's not much different than just using the quarters for the game anyway. The quarters were effectively a timer. 
that you could extend by playing well. Now, that game had an interesting system for the timers. You know, the better you played, the more health you collected, the less hits you took. Well, your health was your... was a countdown, damn it. Ouch. Did not approve of that. But, yeah, your health was just directly ticking down in that game. Kind of cool. It's not much different than other games where, you know, the less you get hit, the better. With the exception of, in that one, you could lose without ever getting hit if you just couldn't find health or if you took too long. It forced you to play faster. Was there nothing in here, really? I guess I did kill those guys up top. Ah, there we go. Hmm. Come on. So, I personally have nothing against DLC in games. I would prefer them being in, well, expansion packs like this one, where it's just more game. But stuff like character packs and all that, I don't mind it as long as there's stuff in-game you can still get. Because the big problem that a lot of people have is, well, these games used to have these, but now you have to buy them. And that is a legitimate complaint. In fact, the new Forza especially, um, in one example for Forza 7, modifiers to the race that make it more difficult but earn you more credits are now locked behind those loot boxes. So you have to spend credits to get the ability to get more credits. That makes no sense. Ah, TNT. See, they actually changed a little bit of the graphics here, finally. Day one DLC packs. Yeah, that's something other people complain about, too. And I... Yeah, I kind of get that. Why people are saying, why isn't that just part of the game? And I've mentioned before stuff like how difficult it is to unlock things in some in some games. And how grindy it feels. Oh god. We had grindy games before without the option to pay our way up. My big example of that was always going to be Marvel vs. Capcom 2. You start with this tiny little roster. Like, less than half the characters are open at the beginning. And you have to unlock all the characters individually, and their alternate color schemes, and a bunch of other stuff before you even... It's not until you unlock everything that you get the ability, the option even, to have the same character in your roster more than once. Alright, what did I just wake up down there? You know what? I don't even care what I woke up down there. I have a key. I'm getting out of here. So, I am not really a fan of microtransaction stuff. Yay, TNT. See, they changed the uh, UAC to TNT. Ooh. But hey, they changed artwork. It's something, anyway. Clearly, I'm going down in the muck. I'm trying to think of an older game that had something that you could equate to Day 1 DLC.
But all the ones I can think about, you know, the stuff was just in the game. And that's why people don't like the day one DLC stuff, because it used to be things like costume packs and all. Video games have always had those. Ow, 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 get out of my way. Out of the way, out of the way, out of the way, out of the freaking way! Oh my god, you bastard, move! Yeah, games have always had costume packs and extra characters and such. Generally, stuff you can unlock in the game. It wasn't something you had to char- you were charged extra for. Now, becomes an issue of quantity as well. Like, how many of those expansion packs or how many of those costumes did you have? Okay. I can see that one. Pokemon Red and Blue. Absolutely. You needed both copies. Actually, in Japan... Well, no. Okay, Japan... I was going to say... Japan had three copies. Red, Blue, and Green. And our version of Blue was actually the Japan version of Green. Which is why when the re-release came out, it was... Uh, fire red and leaf green and not water blue. So. Okay, what does that do for me? If I go back up here, has it lowered act anything, activated anything? Not that I see. If I go through here, has it changed anything? Not that I see. So there's got to be somewhere else I have to go to get back up there. Um, God, I'm trying to think of other games did that. I know that later on, Dragon Quest Monsters 2 had the two versions like that. Um, some of the later Mega Man Battle Network games had the two versions. Not entirely sure what differences those had beyond that. But I'm not sure I would call that Day 1 DLC either. I mean, maybe for Pokemon Red Blue. But the point of that one, and I actually really appreciate the point on that one. They were trying to get people to go out and interact with other people. Pokemon's always been about that. You, know, you got Pokemon Go getting people off the couch and go walk around. That's what it opened. Okay. This is going to hurt a lot. Damn, he lived. Yay, that did look like a secret to me. Different texture. I have no idea what that does. Alright, and back around. I don't like this level looping me around and around and around like that. You've heard me before, I'm against the back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth of video games. No, no, no. It's like, make a choice and stick with it, man. Lead me in one direction, not necessarily back and forth all the time. No, it's not this one. Was it this one? Yeah, it was that one. See, what is the point of this right now? Why is that... I guess you just turned it on. Huh? Well, whatever. Great, what did that do for me? Come on, you're kidding, right? That's interesting. How did that raise so far up? Okay, well, this has been switched. What does it do? It's not the exit. can't jump across this.
This is very obtuse, and I don't like this. Now I have no idea where any type of exit would be. Behind me. Oh, God! Behind me it is. That should be the exit here. Yeah! Another level down! Open season. Oh, perfect, too. Now entering prison. Huh. Oh, hey! This must be level 7. You fought your way out of the infested experimental labs. Seems that UAC has once again gulped it down with their high turnover. It must be hard for the poor old UAC to buy corporate health insurance nowadays. Ahead lies the military complex, now swarming with deceased the diseased horrors, hot to get their teeth into you. With luck, the complex still has some warlike ordnance lying around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty bad. Oh, and hey, look, there's a plasma rifle right up ahead. This is probably going to be the last level today with how slowly things have been going. Honestly. Just use this. Unless I have to use the big gun. I do love the way it staggers them. So you can actually dance around the big enemies. And generally avoid the damage. Oh crap. Oh double crap. boy so those barons there are basically this or the hell knights there are effectively the same thing as the barons of hell only about half the health same damage they'll do to you same fireballs and everything in fact to the point where with the enemy AI they can hit each other I love that too. It's one of the best things about this game. The enemies can actually hit each other. However, the Barons of Hell and Hell Knights have the same attack. Literally the same attack. So they're considered the same type of enemy. They can't hit each other and can't fight each other that way. Cool. Secrets revealed. Don't need it, but cool. Also, should my screen be tinted more red than that? I don't know. I find the Lost Souls to be more annoying than most of the other enemies because the way they just charge at you. They're quick, they're small, they hurt. Oh, ow, hello. Ah. I don't like these ones as w either because they have the heat-seeking rockets. The homing rockets. And while everything else in this game is about being able to dodge the stuff, well, you can't dodge things that seek you. At least not as easily. So that Hell Baron is actually offended by... Oops. You know what? Whatever. That Baron apparently got shot by... The shotgunner over there, and he's angry about it.
Come over here. Come over there more. Come over here more. Over here. Over here. Get over here. See that? Play with it. Yeah, close enough. Alrighty. Hi, fatty. And I missed. There we go. Not liking what I'm seeing up there. Sure, I'll just stare at that thing as it hits me in the face. No problem. I see nothing wrong with this. Didn't even try to dodge it. I love that you can send t exploding barrels through the teleporter. Well, that's not what I wanted to see. Especially not without any freaking ammo! See, I've seen a whole lot of dangerous things and no way to shoot them. There we go. Now, one thing about this game is it actually is set up the uh, custom engine that the enemies could walk off the cliff they're not supposed to which is why I've turned it I've turned that option off but there is an option to for the enemies to be able to just walk right off the cliff at you but I'm trying to keep uh, yeah, so you got one of these now notice there's something underneath it there uh, it looks like a uh, baron by the looks of it what about over here can't tell what that is. Stop wasting ammo. Alright, I got some more ammo. Let's jump back onto the, one of these teleporters here. Hey, that took me to a different area entirely. One I had not been to yet. One that doesn't have any ammo anyway, so it doesn't matter. So that didn't work. How about this one? That's better. Oh, wait. Crap. Oh, that could have been useful. Let's try that. Oh, oh, you're going to do that, are you? Changes depending on what side you, you hit. Because of course it does. Why wouldn't it? Yeah. That's fun. So yeah, come up here and get the... Uh, Get the invincibility, right? Yeah, sure. Come on. Go do that. Meanwhile, we'll just have everything in the world shooting at you. And oh, yeah, it's dark, so you can't see any of it. that hurt
Get in there. No, oh, cool. Let's not be standing there. Think about Doom, just keep moving, basically. It's not a perfect answer. It does surprisingly well. Oops. There we go. Circle strafing is your friend. That's not my friend. Wait, you're not supposed to be able to fall. You didn't fall. There. Now I don't have to deal with that pain in the rear end. Oh, I saw that. Don't you worry. Well, crap. How the heck do I get over there? I'll tell you one thing. I want a suit for down there, but I don't see one. However, there was one... There. And this also... Did you take me back up to the right one? Nope. Did you? Yep. Now let's jump down in here. Because now I can. With some semblance of safety. Where'd you go? There'd you go. Oh, hey, there's one. There's a suit. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, sneaky. I didn't see you. Wrong, 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 wrong. No, this side had the suit. Um, um, this game is not friendly. All right, who's the dude with the shotgun? There you are. Very rude of you. Uh, that's even more rude. Holy crap. Come on. Come on. Here, kitty, kitty. There we go. Except I'm low on ammo now. What does this do? Alright. Oh, no, 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 no! I'm gonna die! Oh, scary. Scary, scary. Okay, that should be it for the day. Oh, boy. Metal. Okay, this right here, I've talked about this. I do not like having enemies being aggressive right when you start a map. That is not a good thing. You need a bit of time to do things like save and the like. So I'm ha I have problems with some of the level design in this. I really do. 
I have a lot of problems with level design in this, in fact. It really is built based on you've already played Doom, you've probably played a whole lot of custom maps, because, believe me, if you had Doom back in the day, you played a lot of custom maps. <laughs> Even if you didn't download them, there were so many map packs that were for sale that were basically just companies who would go to a BBS or an FTP site and download everything they could find and then sell it. Yeah, a lot of those they they weren't sold by they weren't sold by the people who made them. A lot of them have the same maps because of that. Yeah, but uh, if you were releasing them for free online, that's kind of one of the things that happened. The people would argue, well, you're not actually paying for the maps, you're paying for the convenience of having them all on one place. Yeah, you played a lot of them, and I have... God, I don't even know how many of those I have. And some of them are quite good, actually, too. Some of them suck. Oh, God. When they downloaded them in bulk, they weren't necessarily good. So, yeah, that's going to be it for the day. But this definitely... This map pack is all about... You're experienced, here you go. It's, so far, not a very good self-contained game. Ah, wad files. Exactly, Xanth. Exactly. At any rate, I'm going to go ahead and take off. I hope you guys have been enjoying. I am going to finish this. Oh, I, have, I will finish this. I've never finished... I know, as, as big a fan of Doom as I am, and I am, it's been on my hard drive. <laughs> exactly, Xanth. Hey, wanna check out my wad? <laughs> kind of unfortunately named, yes, but... As big a fan as I am of Doom, I never did get around to finishing this one. So we'll get through it, and then we'll see what else is available. Till tomorrow, Internet! Take care, and... Enjoy the games you play.